I've never seen anything like this generation today. They don't commit to anything at all. You're lucky if you see them again after they join. And if you do see them, it's only gonna be on Sundays. And don't talk too long because they got to go. Forget Sunday night, Wednesday night's out of the question. We'll hear about the revival next Sunday. We sacrifice nothing for our church. We will serve nowhere. And yet, is Bishop preaching? Yeah, is Bishop preaching? I have never met anybody who became incredibly successful in any area of their life until they had suffered and sweated and sacrificed and kept their focus and fought through tears and trials and tests. And if you have a dream and you commit to it, it will come to pass. Though the vision tarry, wait for it. They laughed at me. They said that boy's lost his mind. He'll never be nothing. He stutters. He's got a list when he speaks. He'll never be a preacher. I don't care what you find. If you are committed to what you believe. When your heart is given to God, with my whole heart, Lord, will I follow thee. It's not my hands, my feet, my heart. My spirit, my innermost being is committed to God. I will not face a giant without you. I will not make a major decision without prayer. I will not bring somebody into my life just because they please me. I'll submit myself, my destiny, my future over to you. You are my foundation. You are my rock. You are my fortress. You are my strength. You are my defense. Without you, I can do nothing. You are the substratum of every dream I have ever dreamed in my life and I will take no promotion you don't want me to have and I will accept no friend you don't want me to have. You're my rock! Commitments don't have nothing to do with your feelings. You do it because you're supposed to. And stop expecting to be rewarded for what you're supposed to do anyway. Stop bragging about how you brought your money home. You were supposed to. Stop bragging about how you took care of me. You are supposed to take care of me. It's a commitment. This ain't a date. This is a commitment. We have passed the stage of dating. We made a commitment. That's why they said for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health. The preacher knew that at least one of us was gonna be crazy. Somebody has got to arrest this crazy generation that wants to take everything and give back nothing.